All right, Seth, child's really not doing well here. It seems to be pretty lethargic. All right. Get a little more yep. drying and stimulation. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna try and kind of stimulate the bottom of the feet a little bit more. Okay, I'm still not getting any of Still nothing. No, I think you're gonna need to ventilate the patient. Okay, some okay. BBM. Great, thank you. Uh, can we get a smaller mask? That's a little bit better. Yep. Okay. Smaller right. mask, and there's cool. some uh, airways in there in case you need them. Okay, good. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, get the pulse ox going. So if you see any chest rise with this, how's that looking? Yep, we have good equal chest rise. Okay, good. Pulse ox is in place on the right palm. Okay. We have an initial pulse ox on room air at 84%. Okay, I'm gonna double check the airway. The airway still looks clear. Okay. Dave, I got a umbilical pulse rate about 40, and that's corresponding to what we're seeing on the monitor there. All right. Um, we that's really need to start great. compressions. Okay, let's get some uh, oxygen on. Yep. I'm gonna and just gonna plug this in and hand it off to you and start compressions. Okay. All right. And I'm gonna get an OPA in also. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. As soon as you start bagging, we'll do the three to one. Okay. Ready? Oh, all right. Oh. We have a okay. much more vigorous cry now. Go ahead yep. get that OPA Take out. That all right. There we still looks pretty clear. Good. All right. You want to switch to some blow-by? Yep, that sounds like a great idea. And starting to feel an increase in that umbilical pulse. Okay. Pulse ox is now up into the mid 90s. Okay, good. The umbilical pulse is uh, approaching 70 right now. Great. Excellent. Okay, All right. let's keep him a little bit warm. Yep. Some, Cover back up. Warm. Yep. All right, good. Good. And pulse ox is now in the high 90s, and I have an umbilical pulse rate of 90 that's corresponding to the pulse ox. Great. Much better. Good.